you go die. If you no talk, you go die. I rather talk. Anytime I talk, then they try to stop me. Arrest me, they want me. Whatever that you send them, no send them go stop you. Eh? Arrest you or kill you. But if they kill the messenger, then no go fit kill the message. Oh, ah. My people just they suffer, suffering and smiling. Hey, vagabonds in power. They they want me, they want you. Government in power. Ah, it don't tell them they play also. The vagabonds in power. They they want me, they want you. The government in power. Ah, it don't tell them they play also. Hmm. Yes, every little thing when I see, I go talk. Ah, every little thing when you see make you talk eh? My ancestors But if you kill the messenger You know go fi kill the message oh, ah. My people just they suffer suffering and smiling Hey, Vagabonds in power They they use me they use you The government in power Ah, You don't tell them they kill us so. Wake up, wake up, make on a wake up Make you shine your eyes. Oh yeah, get up, get up, make on a get up. This one no be eyes. We did they pray, pray without action. You no go walk up. Some day fast, fast without action. You no go walk up. I say the only thing we go walk with action, no na revolution. Ah, we they talk talk too much, oh. You no go walk up. They call us Yahoo. Now them be Yahoo, ah, Yahoo they call us Yahoo. Now them be Yahoo. The only thing we go stop all this nonsense, so oh, a revolution. Ah, now our government they kill us. Then the Boko Haram. This country don't jaga jaga. Everything don't jamma jamma. Waiting just they happen, eh? they happen, no? They happen, no? This country don't scatter, scatter. Everybody waka waka. Them don't change the country, oh. To banana, oh. Republic, oh. Ah, hey, hey, hey. Every little thing when I see, I go, ya no. See something, say something. Uh -huh. Every little thing when you see, make you ya no. My sisters, oh. But if them kill the messenger, they no go fi kill the messenger. I say my people just they suffer, suffering and smiling. Vagabonds in power, they they fool me, they fool you. Those government in power, you don't tell them they play your soul. Vagabonds in power, they they fool me, they fool you. The government in power, I don't tell them they play your soul. Thank you so much, Larry Safari, for that uh, lucid opening. Um, let me even begin by saying that I do not even know where Larry Safari is from. But I'm sure that uh, I've never even met him in person before. Funny enough. But I do not think he's a Yoruba man. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. <laughs> but let me begin by saying that Everybody is looking for answer to the problem. All right? And then, the approach we are all taking to this is a function of how we diagnose the situation. Let me say that the reason I'm doing this again is because I noticed that people are taking wrong medicines for the wrong ailments. And it's a very bad uh, precedence we have been laying and following over time. When you try to solve a problem as a result of anger, as a result of anger, because you are angry, you want to use that anger to solve a problem, you will end up creating bigger problems. When you solve a prob when you attempt to solve a problem uh, that you have misdiagnosed, you will end up creating bigger problems. You will not solve it. Similarly, in the medical sector or medical field, if you tried to solve a symptom with treatment of another ailment, you will also be wrong. And you might even end up killing, the killing your body system. 
and weakening your immune system. Let me come back to what led to all of this. Two broadcasts ago, and I'm going to open the line when I finish my preamble again so that we can continue. Two broadcasts ago, I asked the question why do revolution, what, what is the diagnosis made by the Revolution Now movement? And what is the answer they gave to it before they launched? And the secessionists, what is their own diagnosis of the problem of this national problem? And what is the answer they gave to it? That is the cause of all of this. All right? Now, the revolutionary movement believes that it is a systemic failure. And when I ask the question, who is the enemy? Two broadcasts ago, if you remember, who is the enemy? Everybody, nationalists, patriotic nationalists, will look at it and say, oh, the problem in the north is the same problem in the south, in the west, and in the north and in the east is the same problem. There is hunger, underdevelopment, starvation, uh, poor facility, underdevelopment, corruption. All of these are common factors, whether in the south, whether in the west, whether in the north, whether in the east, everywhere. The same problem. So to now say one, one sector that is also suffering from the problem, or one tribe or region that is also suffering from the same common problem, is now the problem. It's misdiagnosis, total misdiagnosis, insecurity, God bless you, everywhere. To now say one region that is also suffering from the problem, is the problem is a, comp for me, and everybody is entitled to their opinion, for me, it's a misdiagnosis. And you cannot be taking one step forward when we are trying, and when we are achieving gain on one step, we now reverse it 10 steps backward again. I think we'll just continue to go around the circles. Like Fela would say, Akuna Kuna, the senior brother of Perambulito. Let me now go to what we are doing. If you now, when I asked some people, who is the problem? They say it's the Fulani. I sat again. Is the Fulani my problem? They said eh, they are coming to, they are trooping in, they are flocking in too much, massing into, the, into our land. If they are massing into our land, what then is responsible for that? Our people are also leaving Nigeria and going abroad. Though. It's migration. And one of the underlying reasons for migration world over is that people, by human nature, People move from location to location in search of greener pasture. In search of greener pasture. Now, how many times have the Americans or the Europeans said, oh, we want to send all of you back to your country? Or we want to now take our country back from African mi migrants or immigrants? If that is what we want to do, why not let everybody therefore come back home and stay in their house? These guys are only looking for, if, the, if you think the north is what is holding Nigeria down, hmm, why are northerners not staying in the north? They are looking for greener pasture. They are all, in fact, the problem you are complaining of, both in the south and in the east, it is even more, it is even more ash in the north. That's why they are living, looking for greener pasture. The same way our own people too are living going to America, going to Europe. It is in human nature to migrate. Relocation, transportation, mobility, and all of those, you know, people moving from rural to urban uh, settlements, is not new. It is as old as man. So we cannot use that one, a symptom of underdevelopment in the north itself, that you claim is the problem with us. 
the problem that is making them to migrate from the rural to the urban, which is in search of better life, cannot now be, is only a symptom. It cannot be the problem itself. The problem itself started from way back. It is corruption, pure wholesale corruption. Pure wholesale corruption. Now, let us come to when you say the Fulani is the problem. But I don't even have any Fulani friend, by the way. None. I don't have any. More of my friends are Igbos. I have then few Yoruba friends because, to be frank with you, I don't even know <laughs> whether I want Yoruba friends as much. I grew up among Yorubas. Okay? So, let me say this. Okay. You have right to your opinion again. All right? Corruption led, see, armed struggle, insurgency did not start with Boko Haram. Take it. It did not start with Boko Haram. Now, the system is so corrupt, so much that it is what is causing underdevelopment. Your state is not underdeveloped because of the full Okay? They are killing... Those ones are, see, it is a question of orientation. The Fulanis who are killing in the north are killing because of religious misindoctrination. It's religious misindoctrination. Boko Haram, uh, no to Western education. It's an, it's an, okay. Let me say this. Nobody has rights. Mm? Nobody has rights to determine or the privilege to determine who gave birth to them. I don't know if you had. I was born, I just saw that this is my father, this is my mother, they are Yorubas. I was born into a Christian family. I put it to you, those of you who are saying Fulani is the problem, if you were born in the core north, you would probably be an Almajiri today. If you were born in the core north, hmm, you have no right to determine who your father is, who your mother is. You are probably going to be a Muslim today, a Muslim Aboki too, today, because you have no right to determine who gives birth to you. You can only grow up and decide to change, depending on the orientations you encounter again along the way. You have no right to determine who gives birth to you. God bless you. Driving out of Nigeria is not even migration. It's escaping. Credit to Sheon Kuti, my friend. <laughs> okay? So, we should now come and say, Aboki is our problem. Whatever changed your own orientation is the new culture that you encountered. When you were growing up too, it, you are not thinking the way you, th you were thinking when you were young. That's the plain truth. If the average Aboki person miss the right orientation, they change. It's a fact. And if I ask you why is Aboki your problem, you say they are killing in the north. But if you now study the underlying cause of the killing, you will see that it is not because they were full anis or because they are in the north. It is because of the environment they grew up in, the orientation they grew up with in that environment. It's purely religious fanatism. And it can only take proper orientation to change that, not cutting away from them. If you have met the right Aboki person, the good Aboki person, you will not hate Fulani. If you meet the ones that are exposed among them, you will not hate them. This thing is just their environment. If you grow up as an Aboki person too, you will probably be one of them too. Until you meet the right kind of, or you encounter the right kind of orientation that changes that. So to come out and say Aboki is our problem of Fulani is a, is, a, is a fundamental attribution error. You are attributing the problem of the country to a tribe. Innocent tribe. Innocent tribe. And Arish Ekola, let me start from here. Since you don't expect it from me and you have heard it from me, it is my view. Let me ask you, sir, Mr. Arish Ekola Oyekon. As the Aboki come to your door and said that he doesn't want you to live in your house, 
as he said the allocation of your state is now going to be the one taking it as the book is the aboki the one causing the underdevelopment in your state this aboki 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 story when did it start by the way has it been the cause of our problems since 1960 our underdevelopment on fun, underfunded education government burning uh, government burning marketplaces and taking it over to sell to rich people is it an aboki problem see look at look around you look for any problem and ask yourself if aboki caused it aboki is also responding to the challenges in the environment by moving away from where they were to look for greener pastures if you want to address that one it's a different thing altogether but to say breaking Nigeria away from Aboki is our problem, you think it will solve it. If you leave Aboki alone, okay. The other time, they were saying Igbos are kidnappers. We have to shut people up to say it is not a tribe thing. It's not a tribe thing. Kidnapping is not a tribe. It's not a tribe affair. It's not because you belong to that tribe. I've met fantastic Igbo people. Most of them are my friends. They don't kidnap. But when people resort to killing, kidnapping, ritual practices, they are responding to add, add, you know, add economy. The environment is not helping them to thrive. They are just responding to they shall want to make it. If you say the aboki is Every aboki you see is a Boko Haram. I have met aboki before who said, I am not Boko Haram. That Shege Boko Haram. I saw some of them who ran away from north and came to Lagos. And when you say, ah, how you see Boko, Boko Haram? You say, now nah, them chase me, come off from my place. That is an aboki. He's also a victim of insecurity and insurgency. Now, if you now say Igbos are kidnapper, would that not also be a, a wrong stereotype? Igbos are not kidnappers. Okay, Yorubas, if we say Yorubas are ritual, they are ritualistic people. Wrong stereotype again. Okay, wrong practices. Again, the wrong orientation to say, oh, Yorubas. Okay, before you can practice ritual, carry out ritual practice on a victim, you must have kidnapped the victim first of all now. So no Yoruba qualifies to say Igbos are kidnappers when your own people too are kidnapping for ritual purposes. Igbos were kidnapped, few Igbo persons were kidnapping to make money for pecuniary gains. So there is nothing that is too peculiar to a tribe. Everybody is just a victim of the environment. So to now come out and say, Aousas is fundamental. The other day, when Alen Oyema went to rescue victims of xenophobia in South Africa, Yorubas were saying, that is a Nigerian. I say, oh, so he's no longer an Igbo. The Igbo guy will say, that is our brother. Oh, but you did not claim Evans. That is self-serving bias. It's self-serving. When something does good, you claim it and attribute it to yourself. When it is wrong, you say it is Nigeria. <laughs> you can see that we, we, we have this fundamental error of trying to attribute what is good to ourselves and innate predispositions. Okay? And when it is bad, when it is good, we call it innate predisposition. But when it is bad, we call it situational problem. And that is very wrong. It's an it's a attribution error. When something is good, you claim it. When it is bad, you blame the system. Let us all, let us all recoil. Before you take your next action, sit down and ask yourself questions and answer those questions objectively. I will open the lines to take your comments, but let us do ourselves a favor. It's very important 
that we don't always yeah good we don't always who is asking me a question I will answer your question who is asking a question now somebody said abokis that uh, Fulanis are always invading land the question is asked of when and would respond in responding to that is it by breaking the country away are there no municipal laws if we address the 1999 constitution, we might as well address that. There is the Land Use Act. I think it was of 1976. Was it under Obasanjo? 19, the Land Use Act that determine who land is vested on. Is it governor of the state or is it the federal government? And what are the policies guiding use of land? by different people in different states it's just a matter of address the constitution <laughs> and uh, so breaking away does not really address some of these things okay breaking away does not really address some of these things it is just addressing the system itself so let's i have opened the lines whatsapp video call please i just want somebody to convince me how Fulani is our problem. How Fulani is the cause of underdevelopment in your, in your state. If you are from Lagos, tell me how Fulani is the cause of underdevelopment of Lagos. If you are from the East, call. Tell me how Fulani is the cause of underdevelopment in the East. And tell me why Fulani is the underdevelopment of their own place in the north. But there are rich people from each of these tribes too, who are bigger in resources than each of these states. At least I'm aware of one big landlord in. They call him land, Lagos landlord. When he starts ruling now bullion vans, you will see what we are talking about. The same thing in the north. We have them all, all over. So please, let's not make the mistake of thinking that one. But I want to hear people convincing me well enough how the Aboki is their own problem. Thank you. I have a first caller here. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, we can, yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, my contribution is. Uh, Let's do you one at a time, please. Yeah, please. Go ahead, go ahead. I can hear you. So, yeah, yeah. The problem in our country, in our country, is not the full learning, no. It's uh, it's just collective, uh, uh, our collective problem, you know. And I would say the problem is even from us, from the West. Because, uh, like, even when we have opportunities to, like, uh, help our own brothers and sisters, we are not even helping them, you know? Rather, those guys in the north, northern area, when they are in any position, see them helping, you know, their community, like, those that are in intelligent, you know? You see them, like, like uh, one person can employ, you know, bring in, like, 20 of them to the police force or 40 of them from the, each community. But we in the West, we won't do that. Who feel, ah, let me be the chairman of my region or the chairman of my own location. So I think the full energy, I know even the problem is the system. Is we have to address the system itself, you know, tackle the system, and I believe everything will be fine. And uh, that is why I strongly believe in uh, the revolution now and the process they are taking because even the government, even the people itself, they are afraid of the protest because they know they it's genuine. That is why anytime protest comes out, they are, they, want, they are crampling on the post, uh, protest because it is genuine, it is lawful, and they cannot shoot those protesters or do anything to them because it is genuine. That is why everybody has to come together and fight the system through okay. protest, through revolution now. That is what I believe and Thank think, you, uh, you know. I need somebody Thank you. who believes the, uh, the full and is a problem to come up. I need somebody who believes the Fulani to just call. This is the number again. Just call and tell me how Fulani is the problem. Just tell me. I'm waiting for it. And 
that young man who just called now made a very salient point. And the point he made, which I love, is that a lot of times our own people, when they are in power, when they are in position, when they have made it, instead of helping others, they want others to be down. They want others to be down so that they can be serving them. They want their ego massaged. You keep your own people underdeveloped and your own people are blaming the northerner. So we need to ch start changing the wrong orientations to right ones. You cannot keep your own people underdeveloped when you have the means and you are not helping, you are not creating employment, you are not doing what is right. You want to buy the latest private jet. You want people to see you wearing the latest uh, Ashoebi and all that. Please do not do direct call, do WhatsApp call. Do not, I will not, uh, the, the, the phone where the SIM is, is not connected to the studio system. So it is only WhatsApp call that is connected into the studio system. So please do WhatsApp call. That said, um, when you see people who are doing well, they are not helping themselves. When you now see Aboki in power helping themselves, you see Aboki is your problem. But you had, it's, it's also the same thing when somebody called me yesterday from abroad and was saying that, eh, Nigerian youth are not ready. Then I asked him a simple question. If you say Nigerian youth are not ready, excuse me, what are Nigerian youth doing? Don't you see them online every day? You say, yes, now, they are only interested in entertainment. Eh, but that is what you have promoted. Nigerian youth are interested in entertainment because that is what is lucrative. Umbu King King. Uh, this is looking like a virus account, and I'm going to block it. I don't block people for their views, but I block it when it's becoming like a distraction, when it is deliberate distraction on the channel. I will block it. Okay, when you are making comments that have no direct bearing to what we are saying, and I understand that it is a direct attack on the on the site. So when you have what it takes to change the system when you are in power and you refuse, you are now blaming the other tribe. I don't know how many times I'm supposed to explain this. It is WhatsApp call that you should make. WhatsApp call. If you call me directly, it is out of the studio. Because the direct like call the phone where the sim, the sim is connected to is not connected to the studio it is only whatsapp that is connected to the studio please don't call directly except outside of the show now if aboki is now helping their own people yes nepotism that is wrong we challenge them on that but then outside of government you want to be a Buefi. You want to be a Dogu. You want to be seen as bigger than everybody when you have the resources. You want to ride the best car, splash water on people so that they will be hailing you. You underdeveloped your own people and you want to be hailed and praised. I think something is wrong with the WhatsApp system for people to be calling directly. Um, but try doing WhatsApp call, people. That's what what can work, okay? WhatsApp video call. So, when you now see a problem, fundamental problem, you now deviate from the problem itself, and you want to be attributing the problem to another tribe. For me, once again, the solution to this problem is that we all. I think I'm going to turn off this phone. I have said you don't call directly. WhatsApp call. Hello. Hello, brother. Afternoon. Afternoon, sir. Uh, my name is Aishukola Yiko. Okay, sir. So, uh, uh, my own view is that not that Nigeria cannot work if we come together, but the truth is that to my my own my own uh, the way I view things. Number one. Let's take it right from the 60, that is the early stage of Nigeria. No, even, yes, early stage of Nigeria, when they are uh, using the type of uh, regional system, the way they govern themselves, and the way things look like then. 
even though most of us are not born there, eh? But we 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 know the history little bit. Sorry, but by some region. Is Fulani so, the problem? No, no, Fulani is not the problem of Nigeria because um everybody has their own bad side. Fulani is not my problem. But the truth is that the way the the system the Nigeria operator you cannot find in any book anywhere in the world. It's not democracy now. In a state, in a state, in a country whereby you stay in protest and then they will arrest you. It's not a country. This is not democracy. This is not the way. Sir? But see, the few, the few, the little freedom we enjoy today, hmm, they are products yeah, yeah. of protest. Some people protested in the past. They got brutalized. Yes. That is why we enjoy the little freedom we have today. But but and anytime uh, somebody must it's oh the oh sorry, sorry anytime brother. you go for protest, yes, they okay. will definitely want to come and show Mozu. But at the end of the day, the moment they say that you are not holding gun, you are not causing any trouble, you are only making a statement, they will pick you, but they will release you. But the gains of the protest are not reversed. Instead of leaving See, it completely, brother. Brother, hold on. Let's be going to learn from neighboring country and the Western world. Look at what happened some few months ago. This is a black man they killed in the US. And look at the, the state protest in different country in both Europe and America. And How many people were in that protest? You see? How many people came out for that for, for that protest? They come out massively now, and there is no, po no now, police, is no harassing anybody. Now, body. let me ask you, if one million people come out to protest in Nigeria, yeah. will, will police brutalize them? <laughs> this is my brother, they, you no, two no, know no, what they will do to them. Yes, of course. Yes, yes of course. Where you are the Occupy yes. Nigeria protest. Sir? 2012 Occupy Nigeria protest 2012. Were you there? Actually, I'm not there. But, but the truth is that let me tell you the truth. Can we stay? Can we stay? Can, can we stay? Can we stay protest in front of Asuro? Is it possible? It is possible. My brother, why, why, why are we deceiving ourselves here? Do you want Mr. Shoreji? Is he one for 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 I don't think until they kill him, Abi. Until they kill him. See, you see where the you, but Shora is not complaining now. Is he complaining? Okay, Shora is not complaining. He's not complaining. Okay. He's encouraging more people to come out. He has submitted himself see. as an example of we can protest, they can harass us, they can do anything. But if we continue to say what we are saying, we will get what we are asking for. Shora is not complaining. Thank you, God bless you, the next caller. Hello, sir. Hello, good day, Mr. Shibu. How are you, sir? I'm fine, and you? I am. Just go straight to the point because a lot of people want to call in. Okay, um, uh, what's the question? My name is uh, Mr. Anambi. Okay, sir. Please, the question is, is full our okay. problem? Is Fulani our problem? That's the question we are asking today. Okay, I can say that Fulani is largely our problem. It's a large part of our problem. Thank you. Please because, me, sir. Because they play the devil's advocate. How? Break it down. Let's not be abstract. They play the devil's advocate. Okay, the Fulani is the problem because they have been holding the country backward since ever since we are born. Okay. They don't want to leave the power. They don't want to go. Okay. Uh, how many how many Fulanis do you know? I know them from the leadership. How many? At least Buhari. Many, many. You know many Fulanis. 
Oya, yeah, help me to explain how the cost the underdevelopment of your own state. Okay. When the head, when the head is not okay, the body will not survive. They are in leadership. We are under a banner of Nigeria. We are all under a banner. Okay. And wh wherever the head goes, the body follows. Okay. Thank you. All the Fulanis that you know, are they all okay? As in, are they big men? Are they living fine? No place, no color of the world. The people are, everybody, nobody, everybody in every corner of the world. You cannot say that they are okay. It's not about the Fulani. We are saying what is the problem of Nigeria? Yeah, that's what we are saying. I'm the problem of Nigeria is largely the plan because they play the devil's advocate because of their backward nature and their religion. It's simple and short. You don't have to beat around the bush. Do you know who is planning? Do you know? It's not people, it's not the problem. A child is the problem of Nigeria. They have been in power since you we are born. Okay. Since you we are born, they are in power for more than. Yes. Okay. What I'm saying in this statement, what I'm saying is causing peace, the problem which is also. Okay. So, what is the solution now to cut Fulani off and be on our own, Abi? If, if we cannot, if two cannot agree, they can work together. If we cannot work together, what, what are we doing together? Okay. God bless you. Now, let me ask the final question before you go please the governor of your state is it fulani the governor of my state yes. is not fulani but okay. he's agent of the plan that's why i say fulani what is his advocate if you are advocate you are partially the person what is his tribe the tribe of your your, the governor of your state, the senator representing your constituency, what is his tribe? See, I cannot go down to, to local government to know where these people is the, uh, you can manip I can you can manip you are manipulating us because you are holding us, you are taking our time. And it is a, it's a, a positive side. You can manipulate us also to do something bad as you are sitting there talking to us. The same way the plan is the head is manipulating those ones okay. in our locality. Okay, God bless you. Now, if you want to now take power from the Fulani at the center and do what is right, what are you supposed to do? If I will say it again, please. If you now, the, problem, the problem as you have identified hmm, is that the Fulani mm -hmm. is the one in power at the center. Shebi, that is why mm -hmm. they have problem. Right? So at the center, at the head. There is at no the end, end, uh, that's what head. we are saying the same thing. It's just a different language. The head of the country is Fulani. That is our problem, Shebi. Right? So, if you now want to take that power from him, Mm -hmm. and use it correctly, what do you do? Mm -hmm. If you now the want... Is breaking. Sorry. Yes, 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 continue. The continue, the, 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 okay, the edge is full and in. That is the problem. Can you hear me? You said the... Yeah, the, 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 the head is full and in. Uh, that is the problem. So the solution now will be mm -hmm. to take power from that Fulani and give it to yourself that can govern yourself very well. Right? I don't want to take power from Fulani. I want them to keep their power. I keep my, keep my own power to myself. You are, you are going back to the same thing we said. See, the governor of okay. your state is not Fulani. The senator of your state is collecting allocation. He's not Fulani. Wait, sorry, sorry. The lawmakers in the you National go. Assembly, not all of them are Fulani. How many Fulani are in the National Assembly? 
have you confronted the I know people where you're going you? You are, if you have not confronted the people represent, misrepresenting you you cannot say Fulani because you are living better than most Fulanis you cannot confront you cannot confront the way they have a the leadership from Fulani there is power, power is centralized in Fulani location Okay. So they are manipulating okay. other ones to okay, you know what? Effect, effect I have taken I have taken I have taken your I have taken your own answers, alright? I accept what you say. I accept it. Fulani is okay. the problem. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 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 Good afternoon, Mr. Sherman. How are you, sir? Yeah, good. Actually, I've listened to your broadcast for the past three days, and okay. it's a really good conversation. And I would also like to add my own <coughs> contribution to it as well. So, you say, what is the problem? Fulani is not my problem. Because when I went to the immigration office to collect my passport, and the money is 10,000 naira, for example, and I said I should pay 20. Who is here? My own brother and sister are there as well. Fulani, the next man to you, the traffic, the traffic light, who are there? Are they planning people in Lagos? The traffic, who's controlled traffic? The people who took your car, are they Fulani as men? The problem is just right beside us. Hmm. We just try to mix everything up together. We mix it with religion, with everything. Your problem is just beside you. Because everywhere you go in Nigeria, they torment you. Hmm. Traffic light, a, tra a, a ordinary policeman will t tell you nonsense and extort you. So in every corner of Nigeria, there is a problem. Hmm. So there is no any animal or anyone that is stopping you. We are just a problem. Everybody, the thing is, we should just come together and then first of all fight for the resolution. And after that, we cannot think about going a separate ways because this current system now will not allow anybody to go their ways. So that's only my little contribution. Thank and so people, people should stop promoting like it is Fulani or something. Yes, they are also part of the system. When the system is corrupt, people use it as an avenue. Just like the other day you, you, are, you, are, you are arrested. Because of the, they, they know that that is the avenue for them to, to just what? There's a loophole in the system. So they just use it. So that is just the simple truth. The problem is ourselves. Thank you yeah. very much. God bless you. Next caller. Hello, sir. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We can't see your face. You are back in the light. You are just dying me down, please. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. Let, let me... How are you now? One second now, people. Take it easy. <laughs> All right, now, may we hear your contribution. It's full and your own problem. Make a quick small deal for this battery on ground, my brother. Let, let us just be realistic also. For me, inside your questions, full and me, 70% of the problem of Nigeria. And I'll tell you what my point from the time. These people, just like you just like, just like you said, we all come to this bathroom everywhere. We can't go to another place or other people's land and take their land by force, occupy their land. Tell them we'll kill you if you don't leave your land. And nobody talk about it. Even kill some people in their own town, in their villages. No one is saying why? Because they feel they are in now. That's how we because it's been a while to go to call local years. It's been a while to go to Nigeria. They are not coming in search of greener pasture or oil. These guys are not coming in search of greener pastures. To do 
they are normal hunting. How they've been hunting people and killing people. Okay, can I ask a question at this point? This is the south side of Abuja. We hijacked a whole lot of villages. Can I ask the Shoot, go on. The question I want to ask at this point yeah. is: As of when did the Hausa, the Fulani, start asking to take land by force? As of when? When did that start? It started since 20. If I'll be if I'll, if I'll, if I'll, be, if I'll be straight with the levels 26. Since when? When did Tamasera started? 2016. 2016. Is the underdevelopment of Nigeria yeah. as recent as 2016? No, that, that I will say come to you. That is the reason for the secession. I have not going to that because the reason for the breakup, I'm agreeing to that. The reason, the reason for the underdevelopment is this because we are not guided. Number one, Nigeria. It's never a country. Okay. It's never a country. Mm. So understand what I mean. So, very good. See, that is not a country. Everybody is able to say, I no one will ask anybody any question. Okay. Now, let us do it this way. Even the constitution, the federal let constitution they gave they they to us, it do does not even give a challenge. Okay, that one too. That is all well, everything you have said so okay. far, mm, all these problems are still the system of government is bad. That is what you have still been saying. Perfect. Sorry, sorry. No. When farmers elders clash started, mm, and when terrorism started, when all these problems started and people were crying out, if the right kind of system is in place. What do you expect the government to have done? The whole thing will stop. It's the whole thing will action, pick up the and the whole thing will stop. The, that's it. So there is, the truth is there is no system in place. God bless you. So who are you asking for self-determination? Who are you asking for self-determination? Who are you asking? Good. The people we the decisionists are The people the socialists are asking for self determination. Are those group of people that see these three people and know they are never ever they've never ever been together, but brought them together for their own selfish whatever it is. It is it, and they will come and fix it to battle it. So now. In the process of secession, in the process of secession, since you don't know who you are actually asking to break away, you are, have you told your governor this? Have you told your senator to table it that you want to be on your own? If your answer is no, who are you asking that you want to break away? That's number Hello. one. Number Hello. two question. No, sorry. Okay. Number two question is: Does your governor, are the gov is the government in your state willing to truly separate? If the answer is no, that means the system as is in your tribe. The system is in my tribe. The system is also in the Fulani tribe. And until you take the system, you, see, you cannot get referendum from a system that cannot protect you. If you That's why you need to squash it. If you, do, if you don't change it, you have to it. So if you don't crash the system first of all, you cannot get ref this system cannot give you referendum. No matter how much you cry. It is, it is only to be it is it is only true to be crushed already. So I want you to go for Nigeria. A lot of you guys are saying one thing. The economy the empire will keep me. Let me tell you, a whole lot of us are poor. And we are poor. Are poor. Continue, my brother. I call you man poor. Continue to continue to be poor. I know. I know. Ask the truth. Ask the truth. But what I'm saying is this: if you can, uh, if you can take the system and use it to call for your referendum later and save lives, versus if you just enter it, bah, and you still don't get it, which one do you think is more productive? 
You just you just you just, you just do a point to my direction. Shake the system squash and then eventually ask for the reference. You, know. you, you just got you just got there. And that's what we're working. That's the that's the direction. So this this what, what is this is the is eh, so what is there for me is that if you want to take it step by step, the first step is not step two. The first step is always step one. But let me let me not let me not let me not go too much deep about whatever whatever I know about those processes. I really want to go too much deep. But anything I will say, so again, the only thing I'm going to say is that this you, you have asked two major questions, and I think I've been I've been able to answer it somehow and shed a little bit of light on it because Nigeria is not is never meant to work. We know. So about about being Nigeria, so Jesus Christ, you know, Jesus, even Jesus Christ, you know, my fear. We also know. Okay. So the bottom line is we have to go down. Yes, the, the, yes or yes, it ha the system has to go down. Eh, hey, the system is number one before referendum. This system cannot grant you referendum, no matter how much you kill yourself. So the system. Oh, my Lord, is now. It's going down. It will go down. If there is no revolution, you cannot have referendum. That's the point we have just been making since. Thank you. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Sorry, I called back. Huh? No, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, I I still want to make a point. Okay, quiet. <laughs> You say the uh, sorry, we are saying uh, it before I have the problem or not. Yeah. Okay, why I'm insisting that they are the problem is like they are is it, it, just that they are the driver of this country. Now let me ask one question. Let's make it very clear now. Mm -hmm. If you want to break away, I, don't make mistake. I'm not saying Nigeria is good. Though. I'm also a victim. Okay. I okay. also believe that everybody should govern themselves. I believe so. Okay. All right. But what I'm saying is, if you start the agitation now. Sorry. Oh, shit. I don't know why people keep disturbing let me take this. I am not saying Nigeria is. Okay. I also believe that everybody should govern them. Kindly I... mute the live stream so that I can hear you. But what I'm saying is, if you start the agitation now. Back, Hello. Let me take another question. Hello, sir. Hello, good afternoon. Afternoon, sir. Uh, afternoon, my brother. Yeah, I just saw your program online and I had to give my own contribution. Okay, sir. Okay, so so based on your topic, my brother, mm. Fulani is not a problem to my own region from my own standpoint. Okay, sir. Because 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 now from my own view, my own senator is not he is not a Fulani man. My own senator is Ik Ekwere Ik Madu. So therefore, from his name, you will know that he is not a Fulani man. Maybe. And my local government. He may be Ik Fulani Ekwere Madu. <laughs> no, my brother. The man is from. <laughs> no, no, no. The uh, man is the from. Uh, David Fulani Mark. <laughs> no, 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 my brother. That senator is from that senator is from Mpu, under Enugu State. He is my senator. I, but, I actually know. Okay. All right. So now, from all views, uh, my brother, it is just that most of us are just catching feelings, and most times emotions are problem to us. So all these things, full and do this, full and do that, my brother. All those things are babash. I don't subscribe to all those general um, uh, public belief be, because, as I'm speaking to you, my brother, most times general belief doesn't make it right. Mm. 
So all these things, we are just killing ourselves up and down. To start with, the local government chairman is not a full animal. My own what my own what councillor, he is he is not a full animal. So why are we beating ourselves all around? Simple because of the old wrong notion about a particular tribe. And that is and that is the same way they will be also condemning us. Mm. So in conclusion, like I've said before, let's just let's just hold our own politicians representing us in all capacity responsible for our own underdevelopment that is my point of view and that's all thank you very much i appreciate it all right another caller hello hello mr shagun how are you good morning morning i'm fine how is everything we bless god yes so I just want to yes, shine ahead. in on your topic. Mm. I do not believe Fulani is the problem in Nigeria. Mm. The problem is the system of bad leadership. Mm. And all these people that are trying to push the fact that Fulani is the problem, if they have to go to the north. Fulani are not enjoying more than the people in the south and the people in the east. We are deceiving ourselves if we say Fulani are not suffering the same suffer that we are suffering. Mm -hmm. They have, okay, yes, full, a lot of Fulani people has been ruling us for a while. Mm. But then you must understand that these Fulani people are still not taking care of their Fulani people. Absolutely. So it's not like because they are Fulani, they are taking care of the Fulani area. And it's the same point. So all of us, if we <laughs> do this, we have to come together, come together, get leadership that can work in Nigeria, and then we can do whatever we want to do after that. God bless you. I do not believe in separation. I, I do not believe in separation. I'm like Mr. Showwater. I even want to unite the whole Africa. If but if you keep on saying it's full of new people, mm. yeah, if you keep on saying it's full of new people, we are setting ourselves back. Mm -hmm. Like I always say, if, if Biafra is good, so you think that I go stay for Lagos and Biafra don't become America? This is I go to Biafra now. And I'll... <laughs> I beg, make it happen. Will you fight with anybody? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mr. Ashley, that's all I wanted to shine. Let's not let us talk. I appreciate what you're doing. You're doing a wonderful job. Thank you, sir. I appreciate all right, it. I'll DM you. All right, no problems. Um, okay, before I take another call, let me quickly make a point clear. Obasanjo was president for eight solid years in Nigeria. Go and look at the road that goes Lagos to Abekota Expressway. Go and look at Songo Idiroko Road. She na fulani called that cost that one. She na fulani. Obasanjo was always flying above the head of the people every weekend in helicopter. He abandoned the road completely. He did not touch it. She na fulani cost that one. She na fulani cost that one. No be fulani. Now we understand terrorism as a problem on its own. We understand insurgency as another problem on its own. But the question is, the underdevelopment of your state, the reason you are escaping from Nigeria abroad, is the Fulani person not also suffering the same problem? It is bad leadership that we all have. And if we must go our separate ways, this system will not give you referendum. You must first take the system and I want to bet you, and let me put this on record, I want to bet you, if we have good leadership for eight solid years, let us now try a referendum. I can bet you it is likely that more than 50% of Igbos will not want to go. More than 50% of Yorubas will not want to divide into Oduduwa Republic again. Let us just taste good governance for eight years only, four years only. Then let us now throw out a referendum. Oh, should we still go ahead and split? The likelihood that we want to split will be based on the fact that, oh, we now have good government in place. We want to go with this good mindset as good citizens, a re revolutionized citizenry into our separate republics that's where it will make more sense but if we come if you call, cut all these people from nigeria now put them in their republic with the current system of government 
you will continue with bad leadership there. Next caller. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. You will continue with bad leadership there. Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. I'm, I'm on a lack of delay. Okay, I, I, can, I can hear you now, sorry. I'm fine. Let me cut off this other one. I'm phoning because I, I love your show. Um, you're doing very good work. But let's be honest. The problem we always have is collaborators. It's not whether someone is from wherever. It's the people who will sell us into enslavement. It's the same set who sold us. Absolutely who collaborated with the colonizers, who mm. sold us into enslavement, mm. who will still sell us today, sell us tomorrow, and continually sell us. Mm. The, this is the problem in Nigeria. It's not a particular person from a particular area. So let's mm. stop pretending to ourselves. Mm. Very quick one. But well done on your show. Eh? You, we'll keep man. up with you. Thank we you. send you information. We try. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hello, 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 yes, sir. Oh. Okay. Very fine, sir. I'm so happy for what you've been doing. Let me go straight to the point. Okay, sir. The full army is never the problem hmm. in Nigeria. Hmm. It's never. And you are 100% right. If we are able to enjoy good leadership for just four years, not eight years as you have proceeded, mm. just four years, mm. these people that are sentimental, calling in, telling you all this stuff, and insulting you, you have a change of mind. Mm. Every one of them, because the problem we'll be having is that we don't have good leadership at all from the local government, which is in, a, in your own in your own state, to the state to the state governor up to the national mm. and since these people that are talking cannot even fight their own local government chairman mm. how do they think they can fight the bigger power that is in the national like you say because i watched this program for the past three days mm. most of the people that are talking wanting to fight you only will fight somebody who is ready to give you audience if you want to get this referendum they are talking about. Absolutely. But this statement we have now will never give you, give you audience. Mm -hmm. And if they are not going to give you audience, you are definitely going to be messed up. Like you said, it's going to be war. Mm -hmm. And most of the people that are calling are calling from outside the country, mm -hmm. asking people within to fight. When they don't even have the apparatus to do it, there is no weapon, there is no mm. arsenal, nothing. Mm. And they themselves are outside the country. Mm. So that makes them to talk as people who don't think. They are just being sentimental. Mm. That's just what I want to say. Thank you, the full army is never the problem in Nigeria. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. I want to assume that the full army is the problem, for once. And as the full army is the problem, we now want to break from Fulani system. We want to be Yoruba and Igbo republics, right? One, one second. We now want to be Yoruba and Igbo republics rep respectively. But what is the process of breaking away? Knowing that the moment you declare secession, the system will respond with war. And you are not equipped for war. What you want is referendum. As simple as referendum. But it appears it appears impossible to get referendum with this kind of leadership. The same problem. So would you not rather take off the poor leadership first? Take the system and then use it to get the referendum you want. Meaning that what we simply need is one revolution then two referendum because this system will not give you referendum as you can see they will not give you so you collect the system from them and use it for your referendum but let us take go, taste good governance for four years only and let us see and let us lay the play the play besides referendum and the essay, where are you are you ready Come to Nigeria. Come and start the physical mobilization. I will be with you. Hi, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, good evening. How are you, sir? Hello, sir. I'm calling you from London. How are you? Very fine, sir. 
Yeah, I just want to make my own comments. Okay, sorry. You know, uh, I know that Aousa people of Fulani, they are not our problem. Mm. The problem that in Nigeria is the government. Mm. Our problem is the government. Mm. And there's any hope we have in that country except revolution. Mm. If anybody stand up well, from Odudua to tomorrow, by the thing that I want to do at this and that, in two days, these people will come for the person. They will drive it out as they drive in Amdekano. If they even know okay him. Yeah? But if we come together, the state as a revolution, these people can't do nothing. They cannot do nothing. Let me tell you, what can save Nigeria is the revolution. Without that revolution, 100 years, nothing will happen. They will just be like that. So I don't want to talk too much, my brother. So I just... Did anybody notice Andreese saying he can never come to Nigeria? But you want to push people in Nigeria into war. You can see the problem now. People calling for rev, uh, for uh, secession. They are abroad. They are goading people on ground into war. That's what you are doing. You want to push people into war. And you are abroad. Go and kill your family first. Push your family into the war now. Push your family to the war. You, you stay abroad, you are asking people to go and enter secessionist war without being equipped for war. Have you trained them for war? And Yeze, ah, repent. Stop. Stop. See, there are some people who profit from crisis. And Yeze is an example. They profit from crisis. You create crisis and you stay abroad. You can never come to Nigeria, but you can push people into war in Nigeria. You, the other time somebody came to Nigeria, he said he wanted he will he will, he will carry Buhari's air from Maso Rock. He will take, he bring it to Biafra land. And he will do this. He will do that. He will do this. He will do that. Uh, he, he will give them war for war. He came. They visited him with Python dance. He ran back. If you are not equipped for something, you are pushing people into it. And they are killing people every day. Do you know how many IPOB men are still being arrested on daily basis? And the person who started it is in Germany. Let's face our facts now. I'm not saying we should not break. But so long as this system is not going to guarantee us referendum that we are all looking for why not just take the system first and use it for what we want there must be a revolution before you can have referendum nobody will give you a referendum on the internet and the easy come to nigeria come to nigeria come and achieve that your secessionist agenda first when you come to nigeria and start it let us see how you stand by it first of all Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, sir. Well, how are you doing? Very good. Yeah, this is Adenu. Um, I can only say God bless you. No. My, my, point, my point here is this. I think we need to do more about defining the term revolution and war. People... Revolution is the power of the people. You know, revolution talks about the weaponry of the people against the government. God bless you. Weaponry of the people against themselves. Mm -hmm. The war is against fellow human beings. Revolution is against the system. Yes or no? So there is no way we keep believing the lies the politicians are selling to us. They are dividing us against ourselves to think we, the Fulani man or the Yoruba man, the Osama man is your enemy. Meanwhile, your enemy is the government. Mm -hmm. So the government, when you go and ask, even if you ask Google, it will tell you revolution is the power of the people against the government. Why war is people against themselves? And they are trying to set us against ourselves, pushing us to war. So when man the country is saying, okay, or somebody is saying, okay, fight for yourself, they are not on the ground. It means you, the many people who are in 
It's still individual killing their, themselves. It's not affecting the people in power. So we need to understand that what will make us to be out of this mess is to stand out for revolution. We quickly forget history. When the Niger Delta people were killing, how many people in power did they kill? Just before the Fulani people come, how many people? They killed themselves. The people are still there, but when you have a good government, no matter wherever you are coming from, from if you have a nationalist as a leader, whether you are from Yoruba or Dubua, they will silence that thing. And the nation will be the priority. So the problem is not even the full army, but the people. And that is why what Shore is saying is absolutely the truth. Revolution will cost us much less than war will cost. Revolution will cost more. So the people are agitating for Yoruba or Dubua. They do they to understand that for, for important they are not steps. even in Nigeria. It can work. There are four things you need to do. Yes, because even when you are saying people should do this and do that, there must be you know, there are many there are four factors that is internationally I mean, steps that is internationally accepted before you can say you have institution legally. Mm -hmm. And part of it is that the, your neighbor, the people you are succeeding for, maybe full and or whatever, they have to agree with you. It is one of the four conditions. Are you telling me that Buhari and Tinubu uh, uh, and the coaches they will agree for you to go when they know what they are getting? <laughs> the only way to let them go out is by everybody. And the what the no good term that people need to understand about revolution here, as simple as protest, protest can ground them if they don't have money to steal. You want to imagine which country IMF will not want their money because when everybody is going to work, they know they can't pay back. So they will be forced out of the place. So, you know that not for us to begin to kill ourselves and think that someone is against ourselves. The way out is revolution. Let us, it doesn't matter where it starts. It can start as one. If the, the revolution the people did, you can imagine the one that happened lately compared to the first one last year. Mm -hmm. If it will continue like that, in some just few days, mm -hmm. you will discover this will the, 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 the they will back out. out. They will back out. Because the, what they want to see is to, to intimidate people by way of killing each other. But if that is not happening, people are going out to say, okay, uh, people are mutual. And we need to understand that we have one power that was not there before. And that power is that power of uh, technology. You are doing it, everybody knows what they're saying. The government, they, even they are not afraid of people, they are afraid of international uh, forces. People are seeing it everywhere. So they can't afford to be killing people like they used to do when there was nothing to show to the world what they are doing. They can't do it. But we have that power. Instead of saying, okay, you see, what Tinubu said the other time is the calculated speech when he said we cannot trust Hebrews. He said, he said, we to divide people against themselves. You see somebody from the north who say, we cannot trust Tinubu, power cannot go to the east. They are trying to make us against so you begin to see your fellow neighbor as your enemy. So you, you let them be doing what they are doing. So we need to come up. The first thing we need to do is to educate people. Revolution is against the government. Why war, whatever war is found, is against people because you kill more people than you kill the people in power with, with war. But with revolution, you are not killing your people, you are killing the people, I mean, you are taking people out of system, you are destroying messing other things. That's all I will say for now. I yes, hope people understand. Bless you, God bless us. Thank you, Thank you bro. <laughs> you see, eh, for the people like Andy Isis of this world, let us continue to tell them. Hmm? Revolution does not happen in one day. It is a process, waking people up from slumber. And are people not waking up? People are waking up. You have been drumming for war since 1966. Has he achieved anything? And in less than one year that she already started revolution now, look at the momentum. No, 19, 2020 minus 1966. Do you know how many decades that is? And we have even wasted more people in war. But revolution now is only saying everybody wake up, be conscious. Revolution now is a word for mass consciousness, nothing more. Let everybody come together and do something right. That's what we are asking for. You now want to start dividing attention again, calling for this and that. How did he achieve in? And those of you who are calling for war, hmm? Shore has not failed. Shore, Shore's revolution now is still intact. People are waking up every day, in case you do not know. The Nigerian government is currently on trial, and they are even tired of the trial. The system is weak against itself. Oh, you think Shore is pained? Shore is not pained. Shore is a very big guest in Nigeria as we speak right now. And more people are waking every day. So don't distract people with all your secessionist agenda. You are not equipped for war. 
you are not equipped for war until you come down by yourself and start it. So the person saying Fulani destroyed Nigeria, if we ask you where your state is now, Mada Adogeri, it's either you are Igbo or you are Yoruba. Na, 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 Fulani destroy your state? No, answer the simple question now. And what is the truth from white? Uh, from white, the truth is that Nigerians only have one problem, that is, and it is the government. So let us let, let don't let anybody distract you with secessionist agitation. It's not. It's a journey to nowhere. Secessionist agitation is a journey to nowhere. Let us all face our problem and solve it. It is bad leadership, nothing more. Andy, Shore is not in prison. Shore is deliberately going through the process. It is deliberate. He is going through the process. Okay? Shore is going through the process and is deliberate. Let me take one last call, anyways. Hello, my brother. Hello, good afternoon. I'm happy good evening. Can you hear me? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's a blessing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. Full of people are never the problem of Nigeria. I like to me. your face, but hey, the, the lights. You are back oh, in okay, the face. This is my face. We like to see your face. For the problem of Nigeria. Hey. Now, individual, I and you. I and you are the problem of Nigeria. I'm coming, please. I and you are the problem of Nigeria. Yeah. Can you ask? Go ahead, please. When we don't know what we are doing as a woman as a nation, we don't love our nation, hmm. so-called Nigeria. We don't. We love the other nation half of their country. We don't have it for Nigeria. Hmm. And the two our leaders. Hmm. Yeah. Because then we are we, leaders, our leaders are not good. Are you yourself, you good? I myself that I'm talking to you. I'm coming, please. I myself that I'm talking to you like, right now, I'm not good enough. Hmm. Because a lot of things are happening there. Because nobody is trusting each other. Hmm. And we are saying the youth are the, 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 the bright of the future of Nigeria. No. The youth they are safe, are they clean? Mm. Everybody are doing their own thing. Mm. We know our leaders has already disappointed us. But we ourselves are we putting things into others? Mm. We are not putting things into others. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm coming, please. All right, thank please, you so coming. much for your time. Please, I'll join you sometime. Welcome, welcome. Ben. All right, ma. And uh, that will be my last caller for today. <laughs> and I think, uh, lastly, I want to suggest, mm, like I've said yesterday in, in the broadcast, those of you who, those of you who want the republic, those of you who want Ududua Republic and uh, Biafra Republic, I, I would like to see those of you that are in Nigeria, physically, I would like to see you. I'd like to see how ready you are and and I'd like to see I am willing to I am ready but I am not ready for the type that will come from abroad and will run away when the military comes I'm not ready for that one the one I am ready for is the one that you are ready and equipped and you will stay by what you are what you are convinced for you will not stay abroad and be inciting people in Nigeria. That is the one I want. So I would like to see those of you in Nigeria pushing for this agitation. Thank you very much. And then um, hopefully we'll continue this conversation another time if it is necessary. Bye for now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the door, freaky, I the vex. Nanja is stuck with leaders who can move this country forward. But if you talk, 
you go die. If you no talk, you go die. I rather talk. Anytime I talk, then they try to they stop me, arrest me, they want me. Whatever that you send them, no send them go stop you. Eh? Arrest you, okay you. But if they kill the messenger, then no go fit kill the messenger. Oh, ah. My people just they suffer, suffering and smiling. Hey, vagabonds in power. They they want me, they want you. Government in power. Ah, it don't take them they play also. The vagabonds in power. They they want me, they want you. The government in power. Ah, it don't take them they play also. Hmm. Yes, every little thing when I see, I go talk. Ah, every little thing when you see make you talk eh? My ancestors But if you kill the messenger You know go fi kill the message oh, ah. My people just they suffer suffering and smiling Hey, Vagabonds in power They they use me, they use you This government in power Ah, you don't tell them they kill us so ah. Wake up, wake up, make on a wake Get up, get up, make on a get up. This one no be eyes. We did they pray, pray without action. You no go walk up. Some day fast, fast without action. You no go walk up. I say the only thing we go walk with action, no na revolution. Ah, we they talk talk too much. Oh, you no go walk up. They call.